Anthony and welcome back to e Historiata. In our next report, we feature a master artist who spent more than 40 years of his life perpetuating our island culture. Hani minago para todos amju in ano si Frank Rabon. Guau i my Eastern Bailan Chamorro, Master of Chamorro Dance, first recognized Master of Chamorro Dance, uh, recognized by the government. Guau uh, tumutuhun i Gumatao Tano, 1983. The Gumatao Tano is a house of cultural practitioners, mostly in the songs, dance, and chants of the Chamorro culture and other aspects of our Chamorro people. But even before establishing Guma Tatao Tano, Senor Robon has been a cultural dancer since the 70s. My first cultural, um, uh, cultural instructor was a kumu from Hawaii that was brought in. They were brought in here to open up some of the hotels. And she decided to stay back on Guam and open up a studio. Well, there was 14 of us locals, Chamorros, that became her students and became a part of her, her tutelage. And so we learned Polynesia, we learned Hawaiian dances, Maori, Samoan, Fijian, um, you know, all, all that. And we performed nightly at Hilton Hotel at that time. My instructor there, the Kumu there, when we were putting together the show, she was adamant that as indigenous people, we had culture. And although I was raised in, in the, the uh, traditions of my people, I only basically learned and, and got exposed to the, at the adopted forms of dancing, such as the colonial, the Spanish colonial era, which was the Batsu, the Saltis, the Punta Tacon, Bailan Iguas, Bailan, Bailan Fato, Bailan uh, Palito, and also the American, the twist, the jitterbug, the cha-cha, the, the jerk, the monkey, the electric slide, things like that. But nothing indigenous, nothing um, showcasing our people prior to the colon, uh, colonization in the 1600s. So she kept insisting from me that there had to be something, there had to be some chanting, there had to be some, some uh, form of movements that, that your people did, the Chamorros did, especially when they're celebrating cere uh, ceremonies or whatever. So that got me thinking and I began to research research what was available at the Micronesian Area Research Center. I started to read up on books that were, were uh, published and, you know, the, the Legobian Manuscript, the Pegafetta Manuscript, the, the uh, Frejene Collections, the, the San Vittorio's um, uh, Chronicles, and other uh, publications that spoke about our people. Senor Robon says his research took him to the States, Asia, and to other islands in Micronesia. I told myself, I said, well, the only way that, um, for the benefit of the generations that are growing up, I needed to recreate and reestablish uh, um, things that will symbolize or signify the kind of lifestyles that we, that we as indigenous people did, whether uh, we were amongst the col uh, colonial uh, area or prior to colonial area. So, you know, lifestyle. So I started creating songs and dance that, that depict the uh, fishing, um, you know, planting, the harvesting, the childbirth, because we still, you know, we have baptismal parties, uh, the birthing of child, the, the marriage of two individuals, the matrilineal. So I started uh, writing songs and creating dance moves that will depict those, those aspects of our life. After years of research, Guma Tautano was born. So all I'm doing is uh, bringing that awareness to, to, to this era now, to this modern time, to all the generations that are growing up and saying that this is our history. Granted, we were colonized and now we, we are totally westernized with the influences that are here. We need to understand that we existed prior to all that happening. And therefore, we cannot forget that. We cannot begin our history right at the 1600s, knowing that the Laddie Stone exists. And they, through archaeological discoveries and, and, and whatever, they, they existed before the 1600s. So, you know, um, let's accept the fact 
that this is our story, good or bad, it's our story. Over the past three decades, Guma Tautautano has grown sharing the island's unique culture all over the world. In those, those years, we've, we've, we've done so many things as, uh, as a cultural group. We have promoted Guam, we have, done, we have partnered up with Continental Air Micronesia, which is now United, and we opened up all the, the traveling routes to the tourism-related industry, performing Chamorro dance, not Polynesia now. We've traveled and represented Guam in many festivals in Europe, in Mexico, in the United States, in the Asian countries, even in the Pacific countries. And on top of that, we have represented the island in the Festival of Pacific Arts beginning in 1984-85 Tahiti up until 2012 Solomon Islands. Now it's on our island, it's on the shores of our island. And everything that we do there is representative of our people. We, when, when I choreograph and direct a presentation in anywhere that we go, I always include the Spanish colonialism because it's part of our history. We cannot deny that. It has infiltrated our language. Okay, when we speak tomorrow, you're going to hear influxes of Spanish words in it. I've also tried to include the modern aspect. So when I do a presentation, it depicts the ancient, the pre-contact, the colonial period, and whatever else that happens. And that tells you the story, the, the 4,000 year history of our people. Through Guma Tautano, other Gumas have been formed to create awareness about the island's culture. In the United States, uh, up, and, up and down the West Coast, from Washington State all the way down to San Diego, and now in Japan. So, basically there's about 15 Gumas. Gumas is a, uh, a name for cultural houses that where a group exists that were students of mine and are now branched out. There's 13 of them that have been uh, traditionally certified as Fafa Nogwis. That means they are uh, uh, tradi more traditional um, arts instructor. They are employed into, in the Department of Education running the programs. Those 13 comprise the tribal council that we formulated in 2014. Um, and, and the tribal council has been recognized by the government. Now the tribal council basically comes together to oversee what is necessary to be to assist the Gumas in continuing their passion and their movement. Come the Festival of Pacific Arts, you will see Senor Rabon's passion come to life. He is planning the cultural performances for the opening and closing ceremonies, consisting of 700 cultural dancers sharing Guam's story, one that we should all be proud of. So, you know, I want the other islands to know that amongst the 27 island nations, we had the most traumatic experience in terms of colonization. Okay? And, and the destruction of an identity. The Chamorros had it, but yet we're as vibrant as we are and as, as uh, resilient as we are, we have survived. Okay? So let not this generation be the one to kill the culture and the identity. Let us continue to keep it alive because our ancestors did an awfully good job in making it survive throughout all the turmoils, throughout the war, throughout the, the, the colonization and the Western influences. We have survived. That is our history. That is our story. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week for another edition of E. Soriata.